The complement system is one of the major defense mechanisms against infection. It plays a crucial role in the innate immune response. Recent studies suggest that complement activation also plays a role in the adaptive immune defense, but the exact mechanisms have yet to be determined. Complement is a system of plasma proteins that can be activated by pathogens or pathogen antibody complexes, leading to a chain reaction that produces active molecules to aid in the destruction of pathogens. In other words, it complements the immune system, hence the name. Many of the complement proteins are inactive proteases called zymogens, which themselves are activated by proteolytic cleavage. This is how one activated protease cleaves and activates the next in the activation cascade. There are three complement activation pathways, the classical pathway, lectin pathway, and alternative pathway. They are initiated differently, but converge to produce the same set of effector molecules. These include opsonins, which bind to and target pathogens for destruction by phagocytes, anaphylatoxin, which activate mast cells and recruit phagocytes to the site of infection, and membrane attack complexes, which directly destroy bacteria. The components of the classical pathway are labeled C1 to C9. This pathway can be activated either by pathogens or pathogen antibody complexes. C1 consists of C1Q, C1R, and C1S. C1Q can bind to constant regions of antibodies or directly to pathogen surface. This binding activates C1R, which then cleaves and activates C1S. C1S in turn cleaves C4 and C2 into larger and smaller fragments. The larger fragments combine to form C4BC2B complex, which is a C3 convertase. C3 convertase cleaves C3 into C3A and C3B. This step is where all the three pathways converge. Note that C3 convertase and C3B remain bound to the pathogen surface. Only the smaller cleavage products are released back to the plasma. The lectin pathway activates when mannose binding lectin, MBL, binds to highly conserved carbohydrate motifs on the surface of most pathogens, known as pathogen-associated molecular patterns. The binding activates MBL-associated serine proteases, which again cleave C4 and C2 to form the C3 convertase. The alternative pathway is markedly different from the other two. It is initiated by spontaneous hydrolysis of C3, which is abundant in the plasma. The product of C3 hydrolysis binds to factor B and enables it to be cleaved by factor D, forming the first C3 convertase of the alternative pathway. This enzyme cleaves C3 to make C3B, which binds to the cell's surface, and in the presence of factors B and D, leads to formation of the second C3 convertase, a complex of C3B and the larger fragment of factor B. This convertase cleaves yet more C3 to C3B, which can either act as an opsonin or form another molecule of the same convertase, creating an amplification loop. The complement system is modulated by a number of regulatory proteins that confine complement activation to the surface of pathogens to prevent inadvertent damage to the healthy host tissue. This is particularly important for the alternative pathway, which can activate spontaneously and has an amplification effect. Host-specific protection is generally achieved by having inhibitory proteins that are present on host cells' surface or plasma inhibitors that require host-specific cofactors. Several mechanisms are available. First, C3B and C4B are cleaved and inactivated by the serine protease factor I, the activity of which requires several cofactors. These cofactors are host membrane proteins and factor H, which only binds to eukaryotic membrane. Second, C3 convertases are disassembled by similar host membrane proteins and factor H. In addition, 
Bacterial surface favors the binding of factor P, which stabilizes the C3 convertase of the alternative pathway. Third, formation of membrane attack complexes is inhibited by host membrane protein CD59 and some plasma proteins. The classical pathway is also regulated by C1 inhibitor, deficiency of which results in chronic spontaneous complement activation in hereditary angioedema. Are you a fan of Alila Medical videos? If so, you will love our new Alila Academy. Based entirely on our highly effective animated mini lectures, our courses are designed to follow a typical syllabus in each subject. Each topic is extensively illustrated and comes with quizzes to test your understanding, downloadable PDFs for a quick review, as well as images for you to use in school projects or presentations. We are known for producing highly effective animated videos that explain the most difficult concepts in record time. We have no doubt that our courses will be a lifesaver for both students and teachers alike. So do come check them out. Alila Academy. Clear, concise, effective, with extensive visual resource. No one explains like Alila does.